Hey, what's up guys? Tanek127 here, and um, welcome back to Tanek FPS. And today I got a really interesting um, Big Daddy video I wanted to make for you guys. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Brace yourselves for a bit of a long one because there is a lot I want to cover in here. And um, if this is um, a tip series that you guys want to see more often, be sure to um, let me know in the comments section below. Now, if you know me, um, you know that I'm really not too great at, at Fortnite, or at least the Battle Royale. But one thing I am pretty good at is the Save the World portion. Um, this is actually my favorite part of Fortnite, and this is what got me into Fortnite originally. I just thought the Battle Royale was a cool bonus. I'm actually a Fortnite founder. I've literally owned Save the World since um, this was announced, followed it at the at all you know the announcements it had in the past years and, and and things like that you know this Fortnite goes way beyond the the battle royale game we've seen for the past for the past um two years but we're not here to talk about today what i want to give you guys is a little beginner's guide give you all some tips and everything for save the world um one big uh thing i want to let you guys know especially you know if any kids are watching this video hey kids you know if you guys ask your mom and dad for v bucks a lot i'm gonna give you all a little tip um, download Save the World. One thing um, Save the World does is it gives you free bonuses every day. And every seven days that you log in, you get some free V-Bucks. They're either going to be in increments of 150, 300, and after you've logged in every day for a couple months, you get as much as 800 to 1,000 V-Bucks for, you know, um, loyalty bonuses and stuff like that. So there's, there's a lot to, um, to, uh, to this game. Now, first and foremost, your your question is, if you've never played this mode before, is what is Fortnite Save the World? Well, Fortnite Save the World is a hybrid of a looter shooter and a tower defense game. It's definitely more of a tower defense survival kind of thing, but um, the looter shooter aspect is in there too. There's a lot of shooting, looting, and crafting in this game, as I'm sure you guys can tell with the, you know, the schematics the inventory, the collection book here, all this stuff I have in the armory section. You have multiple sections of this now, and um, this game does evolve and change over time. So chances are, if you're watching this um, past of summer 2019, 2019, I'm sorry, there is a good chance that some of this stuff I'm telling you could be outdated. So do keep that in mind. But this is your um, your quest section. Which basically just um, shows you the different worlds and stuff like that here in the game and everything. You have Stonewood, you have Plankerton, you have Canny Valley. Holy crap, I didn't realize Canny Valley was so long. I'm clicking the hell out of my R2 right now. Alright, and Canny Valley seems to be the final area, but Canny Valley has 19 missions in it. So Save the World has quite a chunk of content from, uh, believe it or not. Um, it's more of a hero-based thing. So you know how in... Um, Battle Royale, the different heroes and skins you get, they're just cosmetic. Well, in Save the World, it's a different case here. All of your heroes that you, um, that you get in this game, they are all stat-driven. Now, granted, you know, um, there's all kinds of different tiers, as you guys can see. Gold, blue, purple, ju just like weapon rarities. That's the same way these heroes work. So if you're familiar with the weapon rarities in the battle royale game you know how these heroes are a green hero is an uncommon a gray one's a common a blue one's a rare a purple is an epic an orange is a legendary and you got you you guys get the you, you guys get to get get the picture you know how this is um how this is working now every single hero that you select they're going to have a bunch of stars um in the top left hand corner that you see right here where you guys see my power level of um of 58 that's the current power level of your hero by the way they um the heroes evolve what you do here is over in this bottom right hand corner you evolve them simply by just feeding them these little hero XP chips or or or, or tickets you guys are gonna notice that this game kinda does work a little bit like um like Warframe and and games like like that a bit but um basically you just fill that up till level 10 and every single time there's going to be a certain amount of um crafting parts or you know 
pieces or, or, or even um, stipulations in the game that you need to do to evolve your character to the next um, portion. As you guys can see, for me to evolve to evolve my my character, I have all the requirements needed, but I have to complete a certain mission in the Cal Candy Valley Storm Shield to upgrade my character. And as you guys can see, when I upgrade my character, you'll see the stats and everything and the bonuses and stuff like that that I get and also the power level um, increase. Now the cool thing about power level is it is a stat of basically your overall um, of the hero you have equipped, the defenders you have um, you have set on you have set on you, the um, any type of perks, stats, and everything. And also, also one thing that's very important, it also depends on the people in your group as well. Like um, every mission that you go to, they're all going to have an average power level. That's you know that's recommended. For example, let's look, let's go ahead and take take a look at one here, here um real fast and see if we can uh see if we can hop into one one of these and just give you guys a a little example here. Now you guys see how this one in Stonewood says recommended power one to nineteen. Well, if you guys look in the top left hand corner, I'm a power level sixteen, so you know I automatically um fill in that quota. Well, if I go here to the mission. And um, and I just you know quick, 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 quick play quest progression you know which whichever you're you're trying to do. When you get into the lobby, it's going to give you an overall power level. You guys see how the power level in the top left corner went up once the other players were average were added with me. It gives you an average power level that is um that's that's based on your your group composition. Now you guys can see um, I have a 25 with me. I'm a 27. There's another 25 and there's a 55. Because we have that high 55 with us, that's not going to mean that you know we're automatically going to be you know a super OP team and just be boosted up to 55. That's just the overall level, the average level of this group. So keep in mind, you playing with a group that means they're there to support you, to help you. Just because your power level rises when you play with a group. That does not mean your stats increase, so do keep that, do keep that um that in mind. Now, um, like I said, in in here, in um in Fortnite, uh, save the world, we have the hero section. This is where you go to manage all your heroes, um, equip them with different perks, level them up, upgrade them, stuff like that. This is uh this is your your loadout. Well, I'm sorry, the perks are equipped here. Um, this is where you can also add other heroes to your um, to your support. Now your support team is these guys are going to give you bonuses and buffs depending on the type of hero they are. So when you unlock more heroes through this game, and you're going to unlock heroes by um, getting llama drops, you get llamas literally by playing, or you can buy them with V bucks by um, playing the game doing challenges. I'll go over the challenge list here in a bit and stuff like that. There's so many different things that are going to give you um that are going to give you heroes. As long as you just play through the game, you'll earn heroes easily. And then you know, of course, you know, there are different currencies throughout the game besides V-Bucks, there are tickets and things like that where you can buy heroes out of the stores and things. There, there's a thousand ways to get heroes. Don't worry, I'll, I'll show you guys that. But um when you add support members to your team based off of different heroes, they all give you different stats and buffs depending on the um, the classes. Now you have four type, you have four different types of classes. You have the soldier, which is your basic like you know um, tank commando style class. You know the the running gun. You know high HP having guy. You have your constructor. Constructors, you guessed it, they're better at you know building making big defenses and stuff like that. Ninjas, high speed, high DPS, low HP. You guys you guys know how that worked. And we have our Outlanders. Outlanders are more of your like um your gadget working kind of guys. You know, they create different things. They're good at um making different like uh turrets and you know traps and stuff like that. Things that you know that can really um uh um trick the enemy, hurt them hurt them and all that and all that good and fun fun stuff like that but yeah those are your four your four classes me personally I prefer playing um playing commando I like having a lot of health and I just like being able to mow enemies down it's plain 
plain and simple that's my um, my play style now this is your um, your defender section your defenders you're going to have a main home base in every single level area so let me explain this to you guys you see how we have like I said Stonewood Plankerton and in the area after that well in every single one of these areas you're going to have what's called a home base in your um in your home base your defenders will be there to to help you know defend against um waves of enemies also along with you know whatever players you decide to bring but you can also use these defenders and summon them into missions to help you out as well but the thing is you have to you have to build them you have to have the items with you to to summon them on certain structures and, and things like that but these guys are also you know very handy for um for missions and again they also contribute to your power to your power level so keep keep that um keep that in mind and expeditions these in short are just basically little side options you can do to get loot they're real easy things um that you that you do you just you actually just send your um send your uh send send random heroes on them you literally just load them up set a squad to go and boom you just hit square start the expedition they'll be back you know in a certain amount of time sometimes they take an hour sometimes they take two three four hours and stuff like that if you're familiar with um building weapons and stuff like that in, in warframe same process the only thing is instead of crafting these guys are gathering for you if that um if that if that makes sense next section is your armory like i said this game is a tower defense but it is also a looter shooter and speaking of that Speaking of this, this is one point I cannot stress enough to people. Always break down cars. No matter what level you're in, if you see cars, destroy them. The good thing about destroying cars or any type of vehicles, they always carry 90% of the materials you need to make ammunition. That's for small ammo, medium ammo, heavy ammo, sniper ammo, any type of ammunition you need for your weapons. These are pretty much the, the go-to things. Besides like the plasma weapons and things like that, those those items are a little bit more complicated. But if you're using basic, you know, bullet firing weaponry, breaking down cars is the best way, the best way to farm ammunition. I do it all the time. Anytime me and my buddies, you know, we're getting low on bullets, I'm like, hey, we're gonna start up some type of run, do it in do it in the city, we'll farm for some items, but everyone get your pickaxes out. We're gonna destroy as many cars as we can. Now this is your schematic section. Um, these schematics they work very um, similar to the ones in Warframe. You look at the schematic right here in the in the corner. It's going to tell you the power level of the item, how much damage it does, and the materials you need to build this item. And then just like your your characters and heroes, they have different tiers of rarity. You got purple, orange, gray. You know, epic legendary common etc etc and just like the heroes they can also be leveled up and in turn they'll cost more materials to make but they'll do more damage have better stats be able to be um evolved higher etc 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 you guys you guys get to get the gist get the gist of that your backpack is basically your um your inventory while you're in game this is the stuff you have on you in game this is your weapon section, the current weapons I have um, equipped, weapons I can craft craft while I'm in-game. Um, you can actually craft new guns while you're in-game and craft ammo, so anytime you find your weapons breaking down in-game, don't panic. Um, these little gauges you see right here by, by your weapons, these gauges tell you how much um, durability your weapon has. It starts off green, that means your weapon's at full durability as it goes down and gets to a lighter green then to a yellow then to an orange then to a red you know your weapons about to break me personally I recommend once you see yourself getting into that orange or red area just switch weapons or get ready to craft a weapon because it's better to be able to just swap than have a weapon break on you and you have to craft it mid combat or you know at least that's what I do the collection book once again like I've said in this video multiple times this game is definitely a looter shooter you're going to earn tons of heroes weapons traps schematics events and you you guys know how fortnite does they're 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 going to toss you content left and right 
your collection book has a level to it. As you guys can see, mine is level 55. Every time you compete, complete a, a level of this collection book, it gives you some type of rewards. These rewards can be chests with new loot, new heroes, um, llamas, V-Bucks, all kinds of things. They're just random rewards that you get at the level. If you hit square, you can, uh, you can see what, um, what rewards you have coming up. I have more weapon schematics, some, you know, some cool traps, um, some XP, XP resources and, and stuff like that. You know, like I said, there'll be V-Bucks, llamas on here, all kinds of different things you guys can get from these, from these collection books. Now the item shop is pretty, pretty self-explanatory. It works a little bit different than, um, than save the world. Forgive me for having the annoying llama in here. I forgot to turn his volume down, but basically llamas these are they're a little bit different than the way you see them in battle royale you get them very commonly in here um like i said there's different currencies as you guys can see we have the birthday event going on right now this one you need tickets to get you get the tickets simply by just playing the game participating in the event doing missions whatever many reward llamas you get them literally daily playing all kinds of stuff the legendary um troll stash llama these are 100 tickets um, per purchase, but you they even reward you with those too. You get the basic llamas as you guys can see in the top right corner I have 112 of those because they've just been stacking up But these are basically just they're loot boxes that give you anything from heroes to weapons to XP And I believe these can have V-Bucks in them sometimes too. Like I said, there's a lot of ways to earn V-Bucks in this um in this mode and this is your item shop this is another currency it's a little gold bar currency unfortunately I don't know the name of this currency if you do feel free to correct me in the comments on that but with these you can pretty much buy anything this is like the item shop in in battle royale there's different heroes for sale different weapons and schematics and you know they're going to change during events they're going to change weekly daily and stuff like that and a lot of this stuff is really low price and easy and easy easy to earn like these these gold bars you get them simply by just playing the game and it's a really 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 simple simple grind but anyway guys that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for the first part of this um fortnite save the world beginners guide um if you guys have any questions if there's any more information you would like or if there's any more different tips and tricks and stuff like that you would prefer to see me make a video on be sure to let me know in the comments below but if y'all enjoyed this video make sure you're subscribed smash that like button hit that damn bell for the love of god and i will see you guys in the next video